All right, guys, welcome to the new Reviews from the Tub cooking show that I didn't know I had until two minutes ago. Uh, my last video, I made a Rida's Just Crack an Egg, and you just cracked an egg into their cup with their provided ingredients, and you microwaved it. It was good, but I'm still hungry, man. And my wife slash producer, being the greatest wife slash producer in the world, said, we could probably just make this ourselves. So, let's see what happens here, man. So first things first on that one, it was to empty the business out of the cup. The password is cup. And put it into, <laughs> I, I don't even know what I just did. It was so long ago. You empty the stuff out of the cup and then you drop an egg into the cup. So I'm gonna have two cause I'm a big boy and I need somewhere to put the shells, hang on. All right. I don't have a garbage bowl like the Rach Ray. Hey! I'm very bad at cracking eggs, apparently. Oh. All right. Oh, geez, Louise. <laughs> All right, two eggs in my cup. Up next, you gotta add the ingredients. So in that one that I had was some ham, which I have my salad ham that I eat every day. I love ham. I'm gonna throw that in there. We're gonna need a little onion because there's pepper and onion in that last one. I don't know how to slice an onion very well, so. Hey, look at that. Hey, look at that. All right. Get rid of that. Do a little of this, a little of that. Let's come back this way. George A, onions are bad for you. Stay away. You gotta be sure to slice the onions thinly because you don't want large chunks of onion in there because that will overpower the entire dip. I don't know, man. Just make the onions as big or small as you want. It's your world. It's your breakfast. Looks like I might have cut up a lot of onion, but whatever. It's my breakfast. What the hell is that? All right, we're gonna get this onion into the mixture. Get in there. There's a lot of onion. I'm, this isn't eggs. This is onion with egg, not eggs with onion. That. I need some cheese, some mild cheddar. Leftover from taco night the other night. Let's get a little of that in there. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's, that's about the right amount. And we don't have any more bell peppers. But we do have McCormick's breakfast seasoning, bell pepper salsa. Where's the camera on the iPad? There it is. Oh, look at that. That looks like it's going to be good. This stuff's delicious. Uh, we put this on everything. Have we ever used this before? Have we ever used this bell pepper pepper be powder before? Flavor. Okay, I Please might want to. Smells like bell pepper in powder form. Right? I think that's all it is. I mean, Claire does it all the time. Okay. It's good enough for Claire. It's good enough for me. I might need another egg. How many you got in there? Two. If you don't have any carbs, I'd have. Oh, well, you had one already, but it looks delightful. Right? This is going to be interesting. Think we're good here? Sure. I have no idea Yeah, part of me wants to add another egg. So add another egg. It's your world. A couple of tomatoes, maybe, from our garden. Oh! I don't know how. No, microwave tomato sounds... I mean, cooked tomatoes in general sound terrible to me, but you like them. Or just cut a couple up and eat them raw. Like, throw it in there raw. All right, we're going with a third egg. Just because the consistency before just looked like it was... 
ham onions with a little bit of egg in there. Oh, this looks like it's going to be good now, boy. Whew. Oh, that looks a little watery. I need more onions. <laughs> no, I don't see that. Yeah. All right, so the Arida just crack an egg, said to microwave it for 40 seconds, take it out, stir it, and then another 30 seconds. I did that and then another 15 because it still looked watery. I think this is going to take a lot longer than that, but... I'd probably just keep it at like 30, 40 second increments at a time. Yeah, so I'll, I'll do the 40, then I'll do the shake and then the 30, but... All right, so we're going to throw it... The 30. We're going to throw it in the microwave here for 40 seconds. And in 40 seconds, we got breakfast, man. Woo! Pretty pumped for this. This is, this is gonna open up a whole new world. And, yeah, you say less dishes. I got two plates, a knife, a fork, a cutting board, a piece of Tupperware. If this works, if you so first of all, you can buy already chopped up peppers and onions frozen in the freezer, in the freezer section. Okay, I didn't know that. So you, there's that. and But also if you want to use fresh, which is, which is always better, but just chop a bunch up at once one day and then you have it for the week. True that, yep. Meal prep, yo, meal prep. All right, so we're going to mix this up a little bit. This is about where it looked after the first 40 seconds on the original. I like your double end alive. Yeah. Oh, thank you. You're very fancy. I am very fancy. This is a high quality cooking show here. You probably never thought you'd see a reviews from the tub cooking show. I feel like you've had like three already. I have actually, yes, so you're absolutely right. <laughs> what is happening? Look at my abs, y'all. You're very manly. I am very, I'm bat manly. Six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! All right, I can see here, it looks like it want, like the egg is on the top and the bottom. It's still watery in the middle. Coagulation has commenced. Coagulation has commenced. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. How watery was the first one? Like, would I die eating it? Like, was it mushy? When it was done? Yeah. After the additional 15 seconds? Yeah. You'd be fine. Okay. Going back in for 30 on this one. Again, smells good. It smells good. It smells good. Did you add salt and pepper or anything? No, frig, that was my biggest complaint on the last one. There was no seasoning, and I didn't put seasoning in this. Well, I'm sure you're going to have another one in there, so just stir salt and pepper in. It's not the end of the world. Not everything is the end of the world. I know it's not the end of the world. I'm just mad at myself for okay. not fixing the only, only complaint I had. But are you surprised? Not at all. All right. Salt and pep. I was actually thinking the other day, staring at that, they don't match at all. No, but they're fun. Are they fun? Yes. All right, it's getting there. Look at that there. It smells so good. I wish I. It does eat smell it. so good. It's 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 getting thicker. She thick. I think I'm gonna go another 20 seconds. There's a little salt for the kids. There's a little pepper for the kids. And you know what? I'm feeling froggy. We're gonna do a little bit more pepper flakes. Yeah, I feel like you can't put too much of this stuff. The few times I've used it. Okay. Now breakfast is seasoned properly. Oh, it's coming. Oh, all right. Yeah, we're almost there. It's a little wet. People are weird about the scrambled eggs. I like them maybe a hair more done than here. And as far as Lauren, my wife slash producer, she would say that these are raw. Yeah. They got to be like goddamn near cremated. Uh, it's all a thing from my mother. But I can eat like runny, runny yolks. That's fine. But runny scramble? I need brown. I need brown no, on that. No, they need to just be solid and cooked a little further. But like, isn't it like the perfect egg like all runny and gross anyway? Technically? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
It's like eating egg snot. It looks like snot. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was something good, but it's snot. And then like a real omelet too. Like you roll up egg snot in the omelet, which always makes me want to hurl. All right. Looking thick all around. It smells so good. I can't get past this. I think I'm done here, man. Yeah, it, it's a little, now it's, I think it's a little overdone for my taste, but whatever. It's it's right where it needs to be. I think I probably could eat that. Yeah. All right, it's a little hot. We're going to let it cool off for a second. Uh, this is, and we always have ham. We always have ham. We always this have is cheese. This a wonderful little snack for me in the middle of the night when I'm not supposed to be eating and I have to eat. You're just going to microwave up an egg? With some Hell onion? yeah! I mean, Am I, I saving love this eggs. Lift this little bit on you? May as well if I'm going to do this again. Oh. I'm sorry, I missed no, your we're angle. Okay. We're quite okay. Oh. I'm also a director. <laughs> Thank you. And you're a little baby. Alright guys, let's see how this... Oh, you know what's going to stink? I got this recording from two angles. Timing this up is going to be a bastard. Now what? Are you supposed to like clap or something? Do you get any I don't videos? know. <laughs> all right that's all right i don't think the pepper powder was strong enough i wish i had a pepper but this is good man you can make just crack an egg yourself if you have peppers onions ham cheese egg or whatever you like in your eggs broccoli Bro spinach a little goat cheese on top there for goat a second. Goat cheese would be good. Goat cheese on top uh, for a the second. The freaking possibilities are endless. The possibility. I'm a ketchup guy in my eggs, too. Hold on. I was actually surprised you weren't eating ketchup. Mommy, you forgot you shut up and try and sleep. Yeah, this is George's sleep time. Yeah, this is all right, man. This is good to know. That you could just microwave an egg with some stuff and make... Your own scrambled egg. Like, would you take that for work, or would you stick to your sandwich? I'm a big fan of that sandwich. Uh, I mean, you should change but it up yeah, every yeah, now and then. to like change it up, this wouldn't be bad. BJ's or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, because you could make this at night, and I could just microwave it in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, this wouldn't be a good idea. If you, I, I eat uh, Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches for work, for breakfast. And I throw them in the microwave for 80 seconds. This same thing, man. Throw it in the microwave for 80 seconds. Oh, okay. Some frozen hash browns, mix that in there. Oh, potatoes in there. Really get unhealthy. Alright, guys. Thanks for stopping by the kitchen. This was an interesting operation that we ran here today. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, be sure to click like and subscribe and yada yada yada. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok and whatnot at Reviews from the Tub. And as always, man, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys coming by. This is ridiculous. I feel ridiculous filming all these, but I'm having fun. I hope you're having fun too. Catch you later, man.